It is known for certain that a more reliable and positive friend than a dog for a person in the animal world cannot be found. But after all, all people are different in character and temperament. And what about the dogs? Yes, exactly the same. All dogs are different. But each breed has some basic features laid down by breeders at the gene level. These include such, for example, as temperament, aggressiveness, ability to learn. Everywhere there is a lot of information about large formidable, service, dogs, but very little about such miniature ones as the miniature pincher. Let's try to understand in more detail. The miniature pincher is a representative of the pincher breed group, which in addition to it includes four more breeds. Their roots stretch back from medieval Germany. Then the functions of the pinchers were reduced to guarding the house, the owner, as well as catching rats. Now they are used in the service of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the military, or as companions. According to the FCI classification, these dogs belong to the second group, subgroup, pinchers and schnauzers. In terms of mental characteristics, they are close to shepherd dogs and are recognized as working, service dogs, regardless of the size of the dog, five types of pinchers of various sizes. All types of pinchers are united by the following distinctive features. Athletic build. Developed, dry, muscles. Strong skeleton and musculoskeletal system. High endurance and maneuverability when moving. High jump ability. Short smooth hard coat, no pronounced undercoat. Hyperactivity. Moderately aggressive, very brave, vigilant, excellent watchdog and guards, but sometimes obsessed with protecting their territory. They need competent education, either dogs are not for dilettantes. These characteristics are also inherent in the miniature pincher, although he is the smallest representative of the pincher. For comparison, the largest is Doberman. They say that size always matters. With regard to pinchers, this only affects the weight category, otherwise they are not inferior to each other in anything. In fact, the miniature pincher is a smaller copy of the Doberman, only more energetic, a kind of energizer of the canine world. By the way, in German, Zwerg means dwarf. Hence the name miniature pincher. The weight of the dwarf Doberman, according to the breed standard, cannot exceed 6 kilograms, and height, no more than 30 centimeters at the withers. Average life expectancy is 12 to 15 years. Hold on to your hat, because the miniature pincher price range runs anywhere from $1,000 to $6,000, depending on the breeder and the dog. When you're laying out that kind of cash, you really need to be sure that this breed is the one for you. It seems like it's good with such a dog, but is everything so smooth? It cannot be that everything is perfect, and it really is. The miniature pincher is not a simple dog, it will not suit everyone. Miniature pincher dog breed pros. Small size. Good health, no pronounced hereditary diseases. Very hardy, ready for long, long walks. Having a delicate ear, an excellent sense of smell and a loud sonorous voice, they become impeccable watchmen. Under the protection of this dog, you can entrust at least an apartment, even a whole personal plot. The coat is very short, smooth, without undercoat, so these dogs do not have a pronounced molt in the usual sense. It does not have unpleasant dog odors, i.e., does not smell like a dog. After a walk, there is no need to wash such a dog, even if it is very dirty, just use a damp cloth, then a dry towel. If necessary, such a dog can be trained to use the toilet in the tray. Sometimes this is very convenient, because eliminates the need to take her outside so that she can cope with her natural needs. Picky about food. Can eat any food, but this must be strictly monitored. If properly and timely brought up, it becomes extremely devoted to the owner. Miniature Pincher Dog Breed Cons an extremely high degree of excitability and energy, sometimes developing into classic aggression. This is the biggest obvious minus of this breed. If the potential owner has not previously dealt with strict 
dogs that have a difficult character, then raising such a splinter as a dwarf pincher is an almost impossible task for him. Miniature pinchers are very smart and cunning. Such a dog usually obeys only the owner, he kindly allows the rest of the family members to be in their pack with the owner. Without a proper approach to training, many pinchers actively take a leadership position in relation to the owner and all family members. On a walk, he becomes the main bully, throwing himself at everyone who does not like him. In this matter, he is never embarrassed by either the size or weight of the opponent. Such a dog is also not suitable for an exhibition. The second most important problem of miniature pinchers is the desire to eat. If you don't see it, this termite from the dog tribe begins to sharpen everything, and not just food. As a result, endless problems with the digestive system from a banal disorder to blockages and intestinal intussusceptions. Many pinchers are very fond of barking with or without it, just like that, for their own sake. It should be noted that their voice is very sonorous, loud and sharp. If the dog is not brought up at the same time, then only a deep knockout, anesthesia, or rainbow care can silence it. Lack of education will definitely affect the moment when strangers come to your house. An excellent watchman, the miniature pincher is extremely distrustful. If the aliens seem suspicious, then he will immediately begin to attack them. The result can be sad, from torn clothes to bites. Miniature pinchers do not like to be left alone. From such grief resentment that he was left alone, he will certainly begin to destroy the house, spoil everything that he can reach. Excessive activity of the miniature pincher requires appropriate physical activity. This requires very long walks with the ability to let the dog run to the bone and get tired. But there is a danger here too, many Dobermans are genetically doomed to love digging the earth, like their rat catcher ancestors. Such love is fraught with open flower beds and green areas in parks. These dogs require vigilant attention from the owner. Conclusion If you are planning to get yourself a miniature pincher, we strongly recommend that you first weigh the pros and cons. This small dog requires a lot of patience and a strong, steady hand. If you are not confident in your abilities and do not have experience in raising dogs, then it is better to refuse to purchase this breed. Are you thinking about getting a miniature pincher? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a miniature pincher, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.